Let's look at ways to customize the Ishikawa or fishbone template. Now, as you could imagine, uh, fishbone diagrams are not like fish. The fish have a consistent set of bones, and we can kind of count on that. But a fishbone diagram could have an infinite number of layouts and so on. And so rather than try and deal with all of that, I've created a lot of places to put information in here, and then you may have to tailor it or customize it a little bit. And we're going to do that by just dragging and dropping some things around in this diagram. So let's go back and look at our data. And I'm going to stick some sample data in here and create our fishbone. And so here you can see we have some, some various things here. Uh, but there might, I might need to add something, you know, another bone underneath analytical procedure here or something like that. So I could go back over to my template. And so under calibration, I could say it might be bad setup or improper setup or something like that. Why? Uh, is it bad setup? Well, out of date, manuals, something like that. And then I could recreate the fish bone, and now I've added a couple more bones here. But I really want that to come off of my analytical procedure. So if you click on this arrow, you can actually drag or drop these to any size that you need. And now I'm just going to click on my arrow and click on my other arrow. I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can select all of these. And then I'm going to select the, the actual text to go with it. Now if I click on this and get this little sign, I can drag and drop that up here somewhere. And so now I've added bad setup and out of date manuals. And I might have to move those around a little bit uh, to make that fit where I want it to fit. All right. So not too challenging. You know, if you wanted to, you might want to drag that around and make it two lines. You could adjust that or something like that. So it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and adjust the fishbone. And again, it's just simple. And I would just borrow something from the outline down here to get the outcome you want. And that's how we modify fishbone diagrams in the QI macros.